Hi everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a 2020 wrap up in a 2021 projected hopes and dreams. <laughs> um, and I hope that y'all stay with me through it all. Oh, I just got this from the Writer Co. Um, to whatever end, shouting out my Sarah J Mass fans. I love their shop and I asked for another shirt from or uh, for Christmas, so I'm super excited about that. If any of y'all saw my Bujo spread, I talked about 2020 and 2021 a bit. Um, 2020 was a hot mess and I think we all felt that. Um, it was extremely difficult when working from home while watching a little one and attempting to write or do any normal thing that I would usually do, um, including platform wise and all of that. And it was just <laughs> really stressful, but I'm really proud of what happened this year. Um, I got into author mentor match back in like February, March time. And um, having that help has been so fantastic. Like hashtag goals needed like some a lot of helping hand and it um I love where it's at now granted it took me forever to figure that out but um I spent camp nano in April um doing the first complete rewrite and then um I sent it to my mentor stupidly thinking it was perfect <laughs> and um she wrote back it was like this still needs a little bit of work and so I spent July fixing that and I got halfway through with re those revisions and I was like this whole thing is garbage so I did another either it was almost a complete rewrite but it was basically just shifting scenes and merging them um to help with pacing um so it's just been a lot and then I sent that back to my mentor and um, she just recently gave me line edits that I'm working on and I just have a little bit to go through the book and weave things in and kind of take out some exposition and just weave it in better to when that situation fits instead of me just like telling you backstory I guess but we've gone through my query letter and synopsis and my first round of agent picks to do that in mid-January so I'm really excited about that super nervous I'm ready for the crickets <laughs> I know that the pitch wars showcase is coming up um, around that time like March maybe um, maybe February so I'm trying to see maybe like a tester round and then do um, pit mad in March and we'll just see how that goes and then try to wait for feedback and hopefully I get feedback and not just like form rejections oh I guess that's feedback too and then you just tweak stuff with goals I was also working on project Emma all year um I had started its revisions when I got my goals first edit letter so I put that on hold till later and I finally got to rewrite it and then my fabulous CP Bridie is reading it again now. So um, it's that one like, uh, I don't know where it's at. I'm hoping my mentor can read it as well just to make sure it's where it needs to be. And then, um, and it had a complete rewrite as well earlier this year. So I've completely rewritten two books and revised them both at least once or twice. And then my third book I wrote was in Nano, and I wrote my next YA contemporary romance. And it is going to be on the back burner for a little bit um, until I get goals in Project Emma where they need to be. Because um, I want to make sure that I'm learning, like all these things that I'm learning, I want to put into that book and not have to go retroactively and go fix it. Um, I do feel like that was the strongest first draft I've written. Granted, I like fast drafted the whole second half, but like that's my process it's fine <laughs> and I was able to outline a few different books and get ideas for um, a few different books so I'm excited in 2021 to work on smaller projects um, I really want to do some middle grade I really want to go revise my two that I already have and try to get them ready for an agent and then I have a third one that I really would love to write and then um, I also kind of want to try writing more flash fiction and short stories. I think it's going to help my writing, especially as an underwriter who leaves out a lot of details. I think it's going to make my brain work to where I put the impactful stuff in there and take out all the junk. And so I think that's really going to help me grow as a writer. And I also would like to have them ready to do submissions. Like if, um, you know, a journal is asking for it or if someone's going to, you know, publish it, I think that would be a really cool way to get um, my work out there. I don't know how that works with um, you being like not debuting yet, like not having works out there yet. So I'm kind of worried about like, if an agent or publisher wants to be like we're debuting her and I'm like I got little works out there like I don't know how that works so I gotta <laughs> look into that because I really wanted to write these three novellas 
um, and put them together and self pub them at the end of next year before Christmas, but I don't know if that'll happen. But I do really like those story ideas. So right now I'm just kind of brewing and simmering in these ideas and trying to actually create an outline before I work on anything. Um, that's my biggest uh, barrier right now, I guess, is that I have all these ideas and I have their beginnings. Um, but I don't exactly have what happens. The only one that I know, it's not even a for sure outline, is one of my adult books. And I had started another adult book and um, like the direction it's in. But I essentially know up to the first act and then not sure what's happening after that. So um, there's a lot of outlining I need to do and brainstorming. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun to help take the pressure off myself that I put on myself this year. Um, I was really terrible about setting um, self-imposed goals that were uh, not nice to me all year. Like I didn't want to waste my mentor's time. So I was constantly just trying to read my draft, fix my draft, send my draft to readers, get it back, edit it, do this, do this. And I was like, okay, by this time, okay, by this time. And then I was trying to have um, Emma done before Nano and I needed another week. And I was just like, Katie, it's okay. <laughs> like it, you have time. And so um, like there's, it's just self-imposed and it's so dumb because I was also trying to read the writing craft book so I could have it up on my channel by a certain deadline. I was trying to do an anthology analysis and read two anthologies, which they're giant. I figured they'd go faster and they didn't. And so um, I only got through one of them and I was like stressing myself out, like trying to force myself to read when I wanted it to be a relaxing experience, you know? And so it's just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> And I don't even know how that counts. I want to count an anthology as like reading those 10 books but instead of one. But this year so far I've read 41 books. But I'm currently reading How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Story or something. However that one goes. <laughs> and then uh, I don't know. I think I'm still reading my one anthology I had left. But I have another like a couple other smaller books I might try to get into before the end of the year. But um, I Definitely my goal is 30 and I'm at 41 and we'll keep going past that. If y'all missed my first anthology breakdown, if you wanted that, I did an anthology analysis and uh, part one and then I'm going to make a part two come out in February. Um, I wanted them near Christmas because they're Christmas anthologies, but I was like, you know what? They're also romance, so I'm going to stick that up in February for my romance. I'm bringing kind of like a romance series to February. Um, it's going to be everything romance. So I hope y'all enjoy that. What's up for January is productivity and organization tips basically. Um, I'm going to bring y'all some Notion. I don't know if y'all heard of Notion but I recently got into it and it's really cool and I hope that y'all will watch that video. I'm going to break down everything in Notion and how it can help you in your books. It's basically like Trello on crack. I was keeping all of my brain dumps and different documents in Google Docs and this keeps it all in one place and it's fabulous. So I hope that it helps you and I hope y'all check it out. I'll also be talking about the line edits that I learned from Hashtag Goals and then um, that story structure combo that I'm working on and uh, mixing two story structures. I was kind of torn because the way Save the Cat has certain beats for certain like number of scenes. I don't write that many scenes within that beat and so I was really torn on creating it for me versus creating it for you who might use all those scenes. Um, so it's going to be definitely a tweak it yourself kind of deal but I'll show a bit of it in Notion and then do a video on it and have it up on my members page. I found some new authors that I love this year. I really enjoyed You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. I also found Emma Lord who wrote uh, Tweet Cute and then um, Emily Wibberly and Austin Siegman Broker. I am gonna read like all of their books now. I love them. This year I watched Schitt's Creek twice because I got my hubby to watch it. Woohoo! And then um, Hamilton and I finally jumped on the Mandalorian train. I was finally ready to watch it and so now I'm like okay I love that. What's next? Um, so I might get into Clone Wars but let me know if y'all have any uh, show or movie recommendations. I was on a total Christmas binge of Christmas movies, books, shows, like all of that. I'm trying to, I think that's a, about my recap for 2020. Um, 
is just that I stressed myself out so much. I still had my side business too that I was trying to work on and I even took a two month break from it during when we were home from quarantine because I was just, I could not handle another thing. Real quick before I go into 2021 stuff is that I also changed my name to Katie Knightley and so um, I'm super totally not what to do about that too because I wanna write young adult, I wanna write adult, and I wanna write MG, middle grade. But I don't want to put those under the same name and I was going to keep YA and adult together because that's where my like romance is and keep MG separate. And like I can still do that. I just I don't know whether I can share on here about middle grade if y'all care or not if I'm not putting it under this name. Um, it'll likely go under my actual name. Um, I don't think I'll make another pen name because that's just insane. But yeah with me focusing on like middle grade this year possibly like it's yeah I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen with that I also still really love I really want to work on my adult <laughs> drafts I need more time but with that I'm trying not to stress myself out even though I have all these ideas I want to write like I said I need to like percolate and make some outlines so my word for 2020 was balance and I failed I got really stressed and didn't balance crap <laughs> I was intending to balance my family time my platform time writing time reading time work time like all the things totally failed I definitely want to be more present in 2021 um, I was on my phone a lot with social media especially oh my gosh November when I did that challenge like that was dumb of me <laughs> but I don't want my son to think that my phone and that is more important than him and so I want to and my husband no, no, no. <laughs> um, so I want to be more present and set actual hours of when I check stuff and do things so that I don't impede on this time you know it's like you only to get this time once so um for my word for 2021 is free i really want to pay off for credit card debts this year um i want to be present more i want to rest more um it sucks because i do want to write that when i'm resting i just think about writing you know and i'm like i could be using this time to write and i'm just like calm down <laughs> um and i want to be more just like free uh, flowing. I want to do more creativity things. Um, like I want to start doodling more. I don't know if I've doodled in here yet, but I just want to draw. I want to draw more. Um, I want to write poems or songs or whatever, uh, flash fiction, short stories, things that aren't the novels, um, that are more pressurized. I also have some serial ideas, um, that I want to work on. And I want to write them even though like I'll need an agent later on to be like okay yeah we can pub these for you too or help you I heard some agencies have divisions of like self pub which is really cool and so I'm like maybe I should just wait for that versus me like doing it on my own but um, I want to have them written but I also watched Alexa Dunn's video that was like don't write stuff before it's time because then you'll have grown as a writer and you'll have to rewrite that again and so I'm like well I don't even know what to work on anymore um and I want to do better with my health 2020 sucked because I was working out but I was also badly eating because I was so stressed and my mother-in-law kept bringing us cookies <laughs> so I was just like well someone's got to eat these um and so yeah I like worked out and saw no progress because I was eating like garbage and so I'm hoping 2021 will be a better health year honestly like oh, if we pay down our debt and if I get healthier um we're looking at possibly trying for another kid but I'm so stressed out as it is like uh like something's gonna have to give and I don't know how people do it with more than one kid oh my gosh <laughs> like bow down to you I don't know how y'all made it through quarantine through homeschooling through trying to make an author career while you got kids like I applaud you for real um oh in RICOMCON my writing community convention is coming in October and that could be online I'm not sure um we'll see I would still love to go there and I don't know what's rolling out with this vaccine and stuff but like whatevies Here's my uh, to whatever in doodle that matches my shirt because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had like a really like down moment where I wanted to give up because I was like all of this is legit pointless and I was like no you know what Katie like to whatever end keep doing it keep working give yourself that break when your brain wants to hate you and then keep working like 
to whatever end, you guys. Don't give up. If, the, if this is your dream and you're like me where you have those times where you're just like, this is pointless. I'm not going anywhere. Um, don't give up. Take a break, but don't give up. I'm going to have to remind myself of that <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> this is what my spread is looking for so far for January. I'm so excited um, to get some things on here about my newsletter and my blogs. I, like, I haven't done that in a long time and getting back stuff back on Pinterest. Um, just plotting out my side business, my platform, my writing, my reading, my relax time. I'm also going to be tracking relax time. So um, I'm just, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for 2021. I'm excited for what is coming, the, you know, possibilities, the hope. January is just full of hope. <laughs> Let me know what your word for 2021 is down below. I'm not, like, married to free, but I think I'm going to use it. Because I wanted to say, like, create, but I used create, like, three years ago, maybe. I guess I could recycle it, but, you know. I want to be free free of debt, free of stress, free of anxiety. Like, let's work on our mental health this year, guys, our physical health, emotional health. Oh, Musa, am I right? <laughs> I think that's all I wanted to shout out, but I did also want to shout out that I met a lot of new Instagrammers and people um, through the Find My Writing community and my NaNoWriMo challenge, and I'm so thankful that I got to meet you guys. I love getting to know y'all. I'm building a better platform on Instagram and kind of leaving Twitter behind for now, but anywho, happy new year. May this year be the best one yet. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and hopes in the comments down below. Thanks, guys. Bye.